Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make Hans from Frozen. And we are going to use the Crafty Ladybug technique with hair on the back of his head. You only need quite a few colours. I'm using a Rainbow Loom Cocoa for his hair. I'm using Skin Tone. I believe this is the rose um, colour. I'm also using the Ocean Blue, Black, a Light Grey, which is... Ah, uh, Crazy Loom, I believe, and um, gold, a couple of gold bands, navy blue, and I mentioned black already. Okay, so um, we'll get started. He's going to be on a single loom, offset position, columns one and three are lower than column two. We're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them on the loom together, like so. Okay, now our loom is going to have the arrow pointing towards us, or the open part of the peg pointing towards us. Let's get this camera angled correctly. There we go. So you take two bands and place them on the pegs together. And as I said, the open part is facing towards you, or the arrow is facing towards you. We'll do the back of his hair first. And I'm using, as I said, Rainbow Loom Cocoa Brown. Two to the side up here, two to the side here, do some crossover bands, so that's one and two, now for the back of the neck, I'm going to take a s two bands here, place them like that, and then a single band, wrap once and twice, and just place here on this portion of your peg as an end cap all right so what we're going to do first is dig down past that end cap and grab these two bands and loop them up loop the next two the top two and loop across and across to the other side and then we loop these up and up and these ones come up just once now you want to make sure that you push everything down because we're now going to be placing skin tone bands on top of this so it does get a tiny bit crowded all right so let's grab our skin tone bands you skip peg one to two okay on all columns that's going to be the top of his hair two bands and you place from peg two to three push things down. My, I have very thick skin tone bands so I have to push down quite hard. From the centre to the right, from the centre to the left. I'm going to do two for his neck, right here. If you see a band that is twisted, just gently run your hook around the inside of the bands like that and it sort of straightens them out a little bit. Right, for the eyes we're going to take a single band and twist it once, twice and three times and that will be placed here across these two pegs. And then you're going to thread your eyes, your beads or your bands. Now I'm using beads, they're a four millimeter by seven millimeter mini pony bead, okay? If you don't have those you can use a band all you would do, each single black band, you wrap round once, twice, three times and four times. That equates to one, one bead. So one, two, three, four, that is the same as two beads. And you would slide those onto a skin tone band, just like I'm about to slide my beads onto a skin tone band. Okay, so slide your beads or your, band, your bands onto the skin tone and you're going to stretch that between these two pegs. Take your hook and grab the top part of that band with the eye beads on it and put it above this peg here to act as a crossover band. 
all right now I'll cross over band on the chin area here I'm going to actually with this one I didn't but this one I will take it loop it on itself in a figure eight okay and we'll make it so that this part comes in tighter because he's got more of a, a pointy chin he's he's sort of more angular in the face rather than uh, more jawish okay an important part to remember is to take the brown bands here for the back of his head and lift them up and over to sit on the neck bands that attaches the back of the head to the front of the face okay so that's very important so now we're going to move down to his his shoulders his chest and arms and we have quite a few colors we need to do in here we're going to ignore ignore the buttons until after the fact so the first thing we need to do is lay two and i'm using ocean blue rainbow loom ocean, rainbow loom ocean blue we're going to lay these bands down here because they're part of his shirt okay and you want those to be visible the next thing you're going to do is put the two rose colored bands i believe they're rose for his necktie okay and just put those like that now we're going to take the third rose band that we have and pop that on the top here as if it was almost like a belt okay now from here we need to come down with some black because he has these black lapels and I faffed around trying to do proper collars and I'm, I'm really not succeeding in it so what we're going to do is put the black here and then we're moving down with the blue for the middle of his shirt and we come down three for this so I'm showing you what I'm doing here as well so you can see so you see you've got one two and three now he almost has like a little bolero jacket doesn't he so we've got the two black either side and we're going to put two I should say a pair and then another pair and I'm doing the same as I did with Christoph. I want him to be taller than Anna. So we're going to be coming down five for legs and five for, for um, the uh, torso as well. But because he's wearing high-waisted pants, you'll find that we actually have more of a leg than a torso. Okay. So now we're going to do the end of his blue shirt sticks out from under his little bolero jacket. So we'll do two blue for here. And now we're going to move to some navy blue for his trousers or his pants. Pants to me is underpants. So here we go. We've got one here, one pair and two pair because he's Harry High Pants. And then we're going to do navy blue to the bottom of our loom on either side. Now, let me count. We've got one, two, three, four. Here we have one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we have the boots. Now, the boots are the bit that we're going to have to add on as an extension. Okay, so we have four here. We'll do four this side, and then we'll extend our legs to accommodate the feet. We will need to do the groin area. So there's two from here to here. And two from here to here. We're going to put our end cap on this one, which is a single band. Wrap once and twice, and you pop that on the end here. All right, now we're also going to do some crossover bands up the torso and another pair of black bands here, but let's put our crossover bands on first. So using a, uh, a grey, because it's going to be seen on the side here, we're just going to place them like this. We're not going to make them come in. Literally, we're just going to place. And I choose the colour for the bands that are on the outside. So in this case, I could use grey or the blue. It really doesn't matter. I'll choose the blue. And then here I'm going to choose the navy. And I'll choose navy again for this last one. Okay, so that you can see that they sort of all match in with what's happening on the side. So let's do his hands, take a single skin tone, wrap it once and twice and slide onto a pair of skin tone. And then we're going to use the first of our 
gold bands. Take one gold band and you're going to trap it between two black bands. So it's going to be black, gold, black. Okay, slide on and reclaim and try and keep them in the order of black, gold, black. Um, I know it can be a bit tricky, but you, you want to try and make it so that they stay in that order. Then we're going to do how many? Let's see. One, two, three, and four pair of the grey. So here's, and again, try and keep those, those little ones in the right order. It's a bit tricky. So there's number one, and now we're in the safe zone. Two. Three. and four. The reason I've done it like this is because we've made him taller, we need his arms to be taller. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, whereas normally we only have five. We've gone that extra length because we've made him a taller little man. Let's do the same for the other side. A single, at once and twice, slide onto a pair. It's a skin tone. Then you're going to trap your gold between two black bands. Slide on. Try and keep them in the right order. If you need to, just jiggery pokery them around. That's a technical term. And we do four pair of the grey. So and again, try and keep them in the right order. There we go. So it's one pair. Two pair. Three pair. And lucky last. Four pair. place that arm um, on the other shoulder. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to do black from here to here as well. So what you're going to do is take two black bands and go from this peg here, all right, which is down by the blue here, and we're going to stretch that up to here. And we're on the other side, stretch it up as well, okay? Let's do his boots. A double pair of bands, Wrap once and twice, slide on to a double pair of bands. Double pair of bands? A pair of bands. There we go. Take a pair of bands, because you haven't reclaimed, and wrap once and twice, and then reclaim. And you're going to slide these onto two bands. I like to do the first two bands first, like that. Then I do the wrapped band and then I do the last pair like that. Reclaim. Now you can angle your little foot you see. And now we're going to do another pair of black bands and one more pair of black bands. So let's see for his legs then we have one and two, three, four, five and then for his torso, we're taking into consideration this, so six, one, two, three, four. I think we're all right. I think he'll be tall enough. Let's do the other shoe. Two, wrap once and twice, slide onto two, don't reclaim, get rid of the broken band. <laughs> two, wrap once and twice, now we can reclaim. Slide onto two. Again, do it in parts. Do the first two bands, then the wrapped band, and then the last two. Reclaim. Now we need two more pair. There's our first pair. And our second pair. 
you can just tilt that over so that it angles and here we have our other little foot okay again as I mentioned we're going to do his buttons after the fact dig down past the end cap here and grab those two top blue bands and loop them to the side and on this side as well and you can also do that center one so we don't forget it push these down let's loop up on either side push down pushing with the back of your hook to get those crossover bands and all of those other bands out of the way okay so at the bottom of the shirt up to the little bolero jacket now we come up to here there we go push things down you don't want things flying all over the place dig down oh we have a broken band let's see if we can fix that I'm moving these over to the side so I can fix this broken band I'm going to salvage this other band by just putting it on there like that now it was a black band I'm having problems with the black bands lately I have to admit we need to come down past the arm place it back on the peg Come down through here, drag it, Let's see if I can drag it without getting my hook captured, there we go, and pop back on, so that was nice and easy, let's put this back where it needs to be, Move these ones up, find the first two, and loop across, the other two, loop across, up now we want the red band to be on top so we're going to dig down and find those two blue bands first and what we should actually let me I digress get back there all right so what we're going to do next we're going to dig down here grab and you're pushing that back okay with your with your crochet hook push this blue band back out the way you're going to grab the red band loop it up go under the bottom loops of the red band to grab the little bit that we're pulling forward like a belt okay so here it is here pull it forward now what we want to happen is this red band these two red bands here need to be on top okay so what we're going to do is hold them with one hand dig down to find the two blue bands that we need to loop in so here's one I'm looping it in let's find the other one oops I had a grey band with it I just want the blue band loop in push it down I'm just going to pop that back for a second while I find these other two found them I'll pop them there for a sec grab the red bands again hold them out the way put those blue bands on now I can put the red bands back the reason being I want the red bands to be on top so that we can see it on top if we had them under the blue bands we're not going to see it okay so that's quite important dig down past the all the other bands to grab the two skin tone and loop up and we're going to grab the two top skin tone loop to the side the next two loop to the side now it's completely your choice whether you decide to put sideburns on him or not he does have sideburns on in the movie so let's grab these two bands and loop up because this is where we're going to do our sideburns I'm going to loop the center bits up dig down here so you don't you mustn't forget this this part here in the middle so one and two now let's talk sideburns we're using brown in this one I used double browns and I, I think that was a little bit too much if you're going to do sideburns what you need to do is go down push your hook through the top part of this peg so that you're out 
at the base of the brown okay if you're not at the base of the brown you can come out in the middle of the brown that's fine too but you have to be further than just these white bands uh, skin tone bands so pop your hook through make sure you're either at the bottom of the brown or near the bottom of the browns make sure your band is not twisted you want it to be untwisted and you're just going to place it on here like that do the same the other side turn your loom around you're coming through the top part of that peg I go through halfway I don't really feel that it needs to go all the way to the back of the head but it doesn't really matter if going all the way through is easier for you that's fine grab your band pull it through make sure it's not twisted reclaim it on your hook and place on here like so all right does take a bit of fancy footwork dig down you want to push back all of those other bands to grab the two bottom brown bands and if you do do the sideburns and then you look at it when you've taken it off and you think oh I don't like that you can cut them off with a pair of scissors and there we go whoops come back here runaway band let's get two dark brown bands to tie off with push your hook through and out to the side past all of those bands drag your bands through to the back up and over and pull tight I'm using the back of my crochet hook to take him off the loom can be a lot of bands on uh, each peg of the way need to stretch my little figure into shape arms up and down up and down now doing the um, the hair like that it does make him look like he has bigger ears and I don't think that's such a bad thing because he does actually have quite protruding ears doesn't he Move this bit so just tweak this around until it looks good to you I prefer it to be on this side thank you very much and I can see that this pair of bands is um, is fuller but that's okay I don't, I don't really mind it if you feel that it's too much go through the back of the hair here and you can tighten it up through the back it doesn't really phase me because he has got these big old ears but you can just tuck it under if it's too much like that okay there we are so there he, he's got his sideburns his ears you're going to hide these tie off bands through the back of his head pull them through so that they're discreetly hidden like so here we are so we're going to tie some little knots so that we can um, use these as buttons and as you can see I've done one here so what you're going to do I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing take a single band and do a figure eight on your loom okay don't let go you're going to stretch it out and do another figure eight still holding on to it you're going to backtrack that figure eight onto the loom okay and then you're going underneath it here to the bit that has the cross on it and you're going to take the bottom one up and over and the other bottom one up and over and take off your loom and there 
is a little knot in your band in the centre. So let's do that. I've done that for the gold. We need to do that for two of the black bands as well. So figure eight, another figure eight. Put it back on your loom like so. Take the bottom ones up and over and the bottom ones up and over. And there's another little knot. And one more. Figure eight. Another figure eight. Loop it back on itself. Up and over. And grab the bottom one here. Oh, if I can, I'm trying to do it on the side. <laughs> There we go, up and over. I'm not looking at it straight on because I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. And I'm making a dog's dinner of it. But there we go, there's our two little knots in our black bands. Now, what we're going to do, this, the gold bands are going to be here for his pants. So we're going to stab him. I'm going to zoom out just a bit because otherwise you're not going to see what I'm doing. And I'm going to get out of camera range. Push your hook through between where the, the light blue and the dark blue meet and take one end of your gold band that you've tied a knot in and pull it through. I tend to try and keep that little loop on my hook and then go back the other side for the other end of the loop like that and then what I'm going to try and do is put one over the other in a little slip knot to hold that in place. Okay, and if I'm scared that that's going to go somewhere, I'll take a navy band, navy being the reason because it's the, the colour of his pants, and hold it in place. I'm going to do the same the other side. Go through where the light blue meets the dark blue, here. Take my gold band, pull it through, and then on the other side. And I try and do it so that it's not actually encroaching on the... Um, band in the middle so I'm going between them and pull it through. Again you're going to grab both ends of the gold band one over the other and here's our navy blue band again and you could just tie a slip knot like that for the gold bands and then you would hide the end of your tie off band under these navy blue pant pants at the back here. So just gently grab the end and discreetly hide that at the back of these pants like so. No one will be any the wiser. I'm going to do the same for the black buttons. And what we're going to do is pick where we want one. So I'm going to come through here, okay, Grab one end and pull it through and then I'm going to make sure that I, I have a band between where I'm coming from so that I can't pull it all the way through again. Pull it back, make sure I have it on my hook and do a little loop so one is over the other. And then I'm going to come through the next spot which will be down here. I've still got that other loop on my hook. Pull it back, I'm going to hold on to this side. I'm going to try and put this loop that's closest to me over the loop that I just put in there. And then as I come back through here to grab this end, let's see how that looks. That, that looks okay. Again, one over the other. So I'm left with one loop on the back, but there's my buttons down the front. Okay. And then with this, I can just poke it through one of there and I'm going to pick the lighter blue band because that's the colour of his shirt and gently pull it through both and tie a slip knot and again go through some of these bands at the back to hide my tie off band if I can grab it <laughs> there we go so tie that off at the back like that you can see the buttons at the front and there we have putting his arms up and down up and down to give them a bit of shape there we have 
Hans in all his evil glory. And I think I do prefer him with a, a leaner face rather than the uh, chubbier cheeks because he sort of has a bit of a pointy chin and it makes him look a little bit different from um, from Christoph. So, there we go. I hope you enjoyed making him. Take care. Bye.